In recent years, it has become known simply as Der Klassiker. The two foremost clubs in Germany, Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich. And today, they meet in front of the famous Gelbe Bat, the yellow wall. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is with me for commentary. Stuart, this is always a fabulous occasion to broadcast. Well, Derek, there's no better place to be than this stadium when Bayern come to town. So this should be a great match today. Let's hope we're not disappointed. Starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Marco Reus in central midfield and lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Matthijs de Ligt plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And now they get the ball rolling. Who's Chan? Sebastian Allaire. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. Could cross it in here. Well, the danger is still there. Royce. Simple save, really. But it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round. And then! Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Real need to get rid of it. Guerrero. And Bayern, the recipients of the free kick here. Perfect challenge. Promising looking attack. to regain possession Luciana now with Bellingham and teammates around him and now having a go keeper getting the touch and this is a voice that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Sané. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Quite simply, an opportunity wasted. Easy for the keeper. Royce failed to hang on to it. And Bellingham onto Allaire. Going for the tink. Easy save. Oh. 
Could that be? Deciding to go inside. Determined defending. And this could represent an opportunity for Bayern to nudge in front. They've won the corner. Elects to go short. De Ligt. And fine goalkeeping. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Taken short. Upamecano. Can he find the net? Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So back underway. Bayern leading here. Brandt. Reus. A very timely interception. Seemed to switch off for a moment. And now a throw in. And players waiting in the centre. And this is Reus. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close. It was a decent effort. Just need to keep plugging away now. And surely the goal will come. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Well, it wasn't going to stand in any case with the flag raised. And Bellingham. And that is going to close the book on the first half here in the Ruhrpott. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant... Th And the ball is moving again. Bayern Munich in front, but there might still be a few twists and turns before this match is over. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Zane! Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. And Bayern will change personnel now. Sebastian Allaire. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. Marco Reus! And Bellingham. Can they square the game? He's foiled them on his own. Serge Gnabry. Would have been a foul, but instead, advantage Bayern. Now they've lost it. A free kick decision going the way of Bayern. It's a substitution for Bayern. Goretzka. On to Zane. Mane. Oh, good technique in terms of how he struck it. Marco Reus. Guerrero. 
and Bayern able to win the ball back Sebastian Allaire and he stopped them in their tracks racing forward trying to catch them out Guerrero giving the ball to the opposition that time João Cancelo a foul but advantage Bayern will he find the net a smart stop here but he's gone short with it that is how to put in a challenge he's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner well they fancy a short one it's one corner after another. And played in by Kimmy. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Defenders need to cover. And cutting inside. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And they do like to press whenever they can. He's enjoying space. Oh, great defending. Well, this game is far from over. Will Dortmund get another big chance before the end? The crowd certainly think so. Just listen to this noise. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. This could square the game, and it has! Such late excitement, and no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. they go again can they win this makes the move to the inside Holland well there is a fine goalkeeper in action well, you're absolutely right that's great goalkeeper at a very important time and played short Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Mane. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. The end of the game then, officially, and the victory for the Schwarz-Gelben. Their fans are going to be happy with this.
well, Derek. They didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, it truly was a terrific performance by Erling Haaland, really lighting up this game. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.